I'll be doing a deeper dive into the Fender Tone Master Pro next week, but right now I wanted to address the issue that some people are having when trying to do a firmware update on this unit. First off, what is a firmware update? The most simple answer is, it takes your Tone Master Pro, updates the operating system, and adds new features to it. Look, I get it. For some of you guys, this is the first time you've tried anything other than tube amps and pedals for years. And now right out of the gate, Fender hits you with a firmware update. That's computer stuff, and you do not do computer stuff unless you talk about some guitar forums and maybe Facebook. Really though, that's not a problem. If you don't want to do this firmware update, you don't have to. If you like the Tone Master Pro as it is right now, like the way that you bought it, just enjoy it that way, and then you can come back and take a look at the firmware update later on when you're more comfortable with it. But let me show you the list of stuff that got added with this firmware update. For starters, we get the Desktop Pro Control app with Mac and PC support. Added new features, new factory presets, added song and set list modes, added looper, additional MIDI support, additional template routings, additional foot switch layouts, auto brightness for screen and scribble strips, speed improvements for UI, Bluetooth now supports pin pairing, and user global EQs. Okay, then they added these new effects. Nashville Overdrive, Round Fuzz Germanium, 3D Chorus, Triple Double Chorus, Electric Flanger, Orbit Stereo Panner, Rotary Speaker 122, Rotary Speaker 147, Auto Swell Delay, Dynamic Delay, 63 Spring Reverb Convolution, 65 Spring Reverb Convolution, Cloud Reverb, Nebula Reverb, Shimmer Reverb, Auto Swell Volume, Chromatic Pitch Shifter, Diatonic Harmonizer, Feedback Generator, and Pedal Detune. They added these new amps. 59 Bassman, British Jubilee Clean, British Jubilee Rhythm, British Jubilee Lead, Marksman Channel 1, Marksman Channel 2. Added new speaker cabinets. 1x12 Mega EV, 4x10 59 Bassman, 4x12 British Greenbacks, 4x12 British Jubilee V30, and 4x12 Mega Shadow. So if none of that interests you, then you're good to go and enjoy. You can always watch this video later if any of this stuff starts to sound interesting. For the rest of you that do want to do the firmware update, the first thing you need to do is download the app and the firmware file. I'll have a link in the description. Now you can install the app, but don't try to run it yet because it'll crash until you update the firmware. And don't double click the firmware file either. Just make sure that you know where it is and what it's called. Tonemaster Pro underscore 1.1.100.img and it should be in your downloads folder. Windows users also need to download and install the ASIO audio driver. Again, I'll have a link in the description for all of these files. Okay, now here are the steps to updating the firmware. It seriously takes me longer to type this than it does to do this. The first thing you want to do is connect the Tone Master Pro to the computer using the included USB cable. Make sure your computer is up and running, but don't turn on your Tone Master Pro yet. Next, locate the tiny firmware update button, which is on the back of the Tone Master Pro next to the aux input. So it is a very tiny button right over here. You press that in and then you turn the power on onto the Tone Master Pro and you hold it for a count of 10. If you look at the screen on your computer, you should see a new icon called Fender Amp. Drag and drop the firmware update file, Tone Master Pro underscore 1.1.100.img onto the Fender Amp icon. Just like that, that's all you have to do. Tone Master Pro will display Applying Update screen. Do not power off until update is complete. Tone Master Pro will display Update Succeeded once the firmware update is complete. Now what you need to do is restart to continue applying the update. And of course to restart, we turn it off, and then turn it back on. At this point, the firmware has been updated, but the factory presets have not been updated. If you have any presets that you created or edited and you want to keep them, right now you only have two options. You can upload them individually to the cloud and then download them again later, 
or you can upload your entire set of presets to the cloud. Currently, there isn't any way to back them up to your computer. Now, most of us haven't done anything yet, so you can skip this part. But if you have presets that you want to back up individually to the cloud, remember that other Tone Master Pro owners will be able to access them too. If you want to keep your presets private, you can upload your entire set of presets that only you can download. To back up your presets, open the Pro Control app. If you want to back them up individually, go to a preset that you want to back up and click on the box with the arrow pointing up right here. Fill out the information and click on post. If you want to back up all of your presets, click on the gear icon in the upper right of the app, choose the preferences tab, then select backup presets and settings to cloud. And you go ahead and finish this up. And at this point you've backed up some or all of your presets. Now we need to do a factory reset. What this will do is erase all the presets and settings and will load additional factory presets into the My Presets folder. Go to your Tone Master Pro and click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner. Go down to Factory Reset and select it. It will ask you, are you sure you want a factory reset? Click on Reset and it will reset itself immediately. Now I've already done this part so I don't have to do it. And what you would do is you would restart your Tone Master Pro again and the firmware update process would be complete. If you saved some or all of your presets, now you can download or reinstall them. Otherwise, you can just plug in and rock out, baby. Now next Wednesday, we are gonna look at the Tone Master Pro more in depth. And you don't wanna miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will be talking with you next week.